Today we want to talk about pumpkin. It's a pumpkin season, uh, just the beginning of a pumpkin season. And I'm here at the allotment and we have some wonderful pumpkin plants with some sea, uh, fruits just setting in. And so we are not going to do pumpkin the usual way. We want to learn how to cook pumpkin meat. Before I cut the pumpkin leaves, I like to do this. It's just to remove those spiny, hard, um, they're not really hard, but just the, the spiny little things. It just peels off by itself when you pull it. So it's a very simple process. You just do this and pull it down and that's it. You realize that the stem is very, very tender and very nice to cook in the in the food and then you pick another one here and just pull and so it all comes out so we'll do that for all the leaves this is our chopped pumpkin leaves as I say pumpkin leaves can be used as vegetable and uh, nice delicacy and um, we're gonna use this is like two medium-sized uh, uh, tomatoes salt baking powder tahini this is a quarter cup of tahini which is a ground sesame seed and one large onion this is a salad master pot and I've already put about a tablespoon of cooking oil and it's heating it's warming i've set the temperature to 100 degrees it's just getting warm and uh, i'll just wait for it to, it to warm up a little bit and then we'll start the cooking just cover it I like my onions a little tender so I cover it for probably some a minute or so then I'll put in the tomato I put in the tomato Spread that around also. I also like that slightly cooked before I put in my pumpkin leaves. That's uh, tomatoes uh, getting nicely cooked there. So next I'm going to put in uh, salt. And I'm going to put in the baking powder. I use baking powder to help us to make the pumpkin leaves much tender because they tend to be a bit rough on the surface and so the baking powder is going to um, eliminate that roughness. This is just like a half a teaspoon of baking powder. And then I'll stir that, mix that together. Then I'm going to add in the pumpkin leaves, the chopped pumpkin leaves. They look quite a lot, but it's going to just cook down and 
uh, be just enough for us actually. So So I'm going to let that cook down a little bit. I just check to see what's happening in there. As you can see, this it's cooking very well. So I'll just give it a stir. To mix in the tomatoes and the onion I want to add a little bit of water to that just really little to help cook it down well Then I'll cover it again and let it cook down more. I'm just going to check that and uh, that's really ready. It's nicely cooked. At this stage I'm going to add the tahini. then mix it in this is actually very optional but I like to add to give that creamy taste so just mix that in very well it gives a very nice creamy taste you could actually use any form of uh, cream if you want or you could actually add some milk or you could use peanut butter um, the people who just like to add peanut butter to that to create give that nice creamy aftertaste and uh, anything actually anything according to what you like the pumpkin vegetable is ready to serve and this is a main dish you could use it for a main dish you can love serve it alongside rice or any bread or anything that you're using for us in my country we use it mostly we serve it alongside something we call ugali made out of uh, corn flour or maize flour so this is basically it this is actually a lot and it can serve quite a number of people and that's it it's very nice and delicious so if you have some pumpkin uh, plants growing in your backyard or in an allotment or something and you have some tender leaves there just go out pick some tender leaves chop them down and try the recipe and i'm sure you will not be disappointed thank you very much for watching the show <music>